tell us about this truck over here. Now, my understanding is this is a new product line for you? It's a new product line for us. And just uh, to clarify, it's just the, the top part, not the whole truck. No, not the whole truck, no. <laughs> um, the, uh, the shell is a flip pack. And a flip pack has been around for a while, but it's been an undermarketed product to the Overland community. Uh, so we're working with flip pack in uh, developing it for the Overland market by not having side windows and improving security, uh, increasing the uh, thickness of the uh, composite material used to, to build the shell so that it's more robust, can handle you know, the frequency vibration from washboard roads. It's a great product for Overlander because if you're running a, a pickup truck, you don't take up any more footprint than the pickup truck itself. So if you can slot your vehicle in, you can camp there. Uh, the other thing that we're doing with the flip packs is that we're incorporating the uh, Adventure Trailers composite drawer systems into the back and creating step ups and s storage. We're using National Luna power packs for, uh, uh, for driving fridges and lights inside and we're using only LED lights so it's, it's an upgraded flip pack versus the conventional um, going to the National Park camping in the campground flip pack. And what does the setup like this weigh? Uh, this one weighs about 350 pounds. And how does that compare to a, a regular shell? A regular shell is usually going to weigh somewhere in the neighborhood of about 300 pounds. And then if you were to add an equivalent size rooftop tent, you'd be adding another 150 pounds. Mm -hmm. So you actually weigh less than that configuration. And the price point is also uh, more competitive than a shell and a rooftop tent. Tell me about this one. This is also a pretty radical departure from what I think of as the usual adventure trailer design. <laughs> yes, it is. It's, uh, it's a little bit retro, and uh, so it's, it's got a little, little retro feel with uh, an adventure trailer spin on it. Um, we partnered with uh, Southern California Teardrops, which makes a super fine retro teardrop. Uh, they cater very much to the hot rod crowd, and. Um, they have a very, very high quality product and it's coveted in, in teardrop circles. What makes it different from conventional teardrops is that we've compartmentalized the storage. Uh, the conventional teardrops just have open storage. Well, that doesn't work in the, the off-pavement world where you have stuff moving around all over the place. So we did a lot of things to secure cargo uh, inside. And the other thing that we did, because overlanders tend to stay out for long periods of time, we switched all of the lighting over to LED, which is a very low power consumption versus the incandescence that they had historically used. And then to make it a little bit more camping friendly, uh, we changed over and uh, used our chaser trailer fenders on the teardrop so that you would have flat surfaces to, to put things on, whereas the conventional teardrop has this rounded uh, fender reminiscent of you know 40s and 50s vehicles. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've done some really cool things with the kitchen here. Um, I'm going to disconnect this here quickly so I can show you how it goes away. But we're using, uh, again, the Partner Steel stoves. Uh, this one, uh, Partner Steel, uh, custom made for us. We needed it a little bit narrower for the confines of this storage area. But we've put this on uh, fast clips so that you can, this is secure here, but you can remove the clips and you can take the stove off and use it someplace else. We've done the same thing in the Trek trailer. So now this closes up. Now this is this whole section is on a lock-in lock-out slide. So you release the, the lock and the whole galley slides away. Mm -hmm. You have slam catch drawers here. These are the same uh, hardware that we use on our drawer systems. Everything is nice and secure. It won't open while you're driving but then you can pull this whole thing out. Locks in place, you still have access to these drawers. So it brings, it keeps you within that kitchen triangle. The fridge is on a sideways slide, which is an unusual slide for a fridge, uh, but it allows us to tuck it into this small area. Uh, the storage area up here, it looks like it's not very secure, but actually it is, because the curvature of the lid actually captures whatever might be up in here. Mm -hmm. So you can have soft bags. And I noticed that our lid is lit as well, so we have a nice, a nice lid yes. working space here. This is a very high-end uh, 
uh, light made by Maxima, and it is a fully diffused LED. Most LEDs tend to create these focal spots, and so you have these hot spots in, in, in the light. This actually diffuses and lights the entire area without any of those hot spots. The other nice thing about this light uh, is that the switch stays illuminated when the, switch is, when the light is off, so you can find the switch in the dark. You're going to have to poke your head inside here with me. Right, inside the, the trailer, we have a control panel for lights. So I'm going to turn the bright white light on. But we have a locking storage inside here, keyed. So there's a drawer in the center so that you can keep some items there. And then you have locking cabinets here so you can stash items away. Most teardrops don't have cabinetry like that. And then there's a full control panel for all of the electrics uh, right in here. This, this, this light switches from white to red to protect your night vision. We also have a backlight up here, a backlight onto the shelves. It emits a soft glow red light, and that uh, keeps bugs from coming into the, uh, to the trailer. There's also a set of exterior lights, which I can switch on from here. They're very small, high output LEDs, and they shine a light down on top of the fender well on each side of the trailer. And then, uh, of course, we have a stereo up in here. And uh, so you can put the mood lights on and put the very white CD on and <laughs> have a good time. And uh, you have a couple of power outlets here on the interior as well. It's a, a nice, uh, high quality foam mattress in here. This is very comfortable. The floor of this trailer is insulated as well as the roof and by by insulating it if you there's there's those two thought two two thought processes behind trailers there's the soft side tent large space mm -hmm. then there's the hard side foul weather snug as a bug in a rug kind of unit and th right. that's what this serves mm -hmm. i think if i lived in the pacific northwest where it rains a lot I think I would rather be in this hard-sided trailer that's insulated and it's going to be nice and warm. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's raining a lot, I don't I'm really probably not going to be on the outside very often. Um, the awning that we have attached here, we can also put side walls and enclose that footprint outside. So if the weather is foul, you still have an area that you can get out into and stand up and walk around or do your food prep. Now in front, our battery box, our power boxes. Yeah, like this is sort of a classic adventure trailers way of doing doing things. We also uh, have a new coupler uh, that we're using. Uh, it changes pivot points here. Uh, it's, a, it's a short coupler. This is a lubed shaft. So you can see there's a Zerk fitting here. So you have a long bearing surface here for rotational. And then you have your vertical axis. And this has a urethane bushing in it, so it has a dampening effect between the vehicle and the trailer. And then the rotational point is here on a, uh, on a Durlin bushing. And what makes that different from the traditional adventure trailers coupler? Uh, the, the traditional adventure trailers coupler, these two pivot points have been swapped. And it improves uh, handling of the trailer when you are reversing backwards, uphill, jackknifed. <laughs> if I can describe that scenario, but that was a weakness on the old coupler. Uh -huh. So we've got uh, four new products here from Adventure Trailers. We have the Trek right. trailer, we have the new Flip Pack. That's right. We have the Teardrop trailer. That's correct. And what's the name of that trailer? We're calling that the Overland Tier. The Overland Tier? Yeah. And the drawer systems. And the drawer systems. We wanted to come to this show and only display new products. We didn't want to rest on our laurels and continue to show the Horizon and the Chaser. Those are pretty well proven products. People are aware of them. We wanted to continue to push forward and provide new solutions to, to overlanders. And that's why we're here today with all new stuff. And will your legacy products continue on? They will continue on. The, the, the market will make the decision for us uh, long term on that, of course. Great. Well, Mario, thanks for talking to oh, us today. Thank you.